Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are taking a look at the new Guerlain Rouge G Fall 2022 Butterfly Lipstick Cases and the new Velvet Metal Lipsticks. I picked up three shades, all three cases. Let's take a look. So these items are available on the Guerlain website and you can actually get your case engraved for free now. And what that engraving does, this is by the way, is the Morpho Blue case. So this texture here, it's smooth. It almost feels like a, like a printed like satin or something, kind of like a little silky, not quite as silky as a true fabric would be, but almost like it's trying to replicate that. And you can feel a little bit of textural differences just where like the metallic silver is here. So when you get this engraved for free, what it does is they will engrave what you choose on the mirror here. I thought it might take a little extra time. It does say it takes an extra day or two to get your order. I actually received my order in like, you know, it was essentially overnight. So I ordered the one morning and I got it the next night. So really impressive. If you're not familiar with Rouge G cases, they are weighty and they open up, you have a mirror on both halves so you can kind of look at what you're doing. And to get this closed, you're actually taking the lipstick refill and this little clip here, which has the Guerlain logo, goes right over that to keep that closed. So you can buy these separately. They are totally functional separately as well. They actually come with a little black cap. So this is how it comes. So if you, for some reason, don't wanna get the case or the one you want is out of stock, but you really wanna get the lipstick, you know, you can totally use it like this. It is a heavy duty plastic, so it will keep your lipstick fresh. So as I mentioned, there are three cases. This one here is Morpho Blue, and this one's my favorite. I mean, look at that. It's just so pretty. And then we also have Scarlet Red, and all three of these cases are modeled after butterflies. And then this one here is Nymph Rose. And I think they are all stunning. <laughs> Again, my favorite is the Morpho Blue. So I picked up three of the new lipsticks that go with this. And these lipsticks are unique. They are a matte formula with a metallic finish. I mean, you can see the metallic sheen to my lips, yet they're matte. They feel weightless on the, on the lips. You can't feel them. They're long wearing. Let's start off with this first shade here. This is 530 Majestic Rose. And there's one swipe. It seriously, it's very silky going on, very lightweight. Just go back and forth with this one. So you can kind of see the sheen a bit. This one here is 721 Mythic Fuchsia. This is what is currently on my lips right now. And look at that really beautiful shade. I love this one. And I have to say, the Velvet Metal Collection, they don't have a ton of lipsticks. I forget exactly how many there are because they've been removing them as they go out of stock and you can't, so you can't really see the total all the time, but there's something like maybe like eight lipsticks or something. This one here is 829 Imperial Plum. Um, so somewhere between six and eight lipsticks. And... They are primarily in the deeper red range. So you're gonna see a lot of reds, coral reds, hot pinks, and so forth. This shade here, 530, is the lightest shade. So there weren't any like nude shades or anything available. So just something to note. These, I think, are gonna be fantastic for holiday, fall, and so forth. That's personally when I love to wear a matte lip and having this metallic sheen without having any like glitter pieces attached or anything like that is really pretty awesome and these are long wearing so i can wear this all day i can wear it through a meal you know and i get like a little bit of fading but honestly not much they're not transfer proof but they are very long wearing so let's go ahead and take a look at these lip swatches and we're going to do some comparisons as well now this formula as i mentioned i think it's unique because most metallic lipsticks or all the metallic lipsticks i've used are going to have a satin formula and this has a matte formula you can't feel any grittiness at all with this finish 
and it is buildable but again the drawback is these are all in very pigmented colors so if you're looking for something more nude or lighter there really isn't anything in this range at this moment i do hope that they will expand the color selection of these i have to say i'm really impressed with how these perform and how they wear so as i mentioned wear time is long for this and you know, it kind of depends what you're doing. I had a greasy meal, wiped my lips with a napkin, and then it looked like I had a stain left. But I've also worn it where I have gone pretty much the entire day and I've had like regular meals, no particular like excess grease or anything, like a sandwich and stuff like that. And by the end of the day, like after eight hours, it still looked very fresh and you know, so it kind of depends what you're doing, but if you've got regular activity, drinking from the water bottle and things like that, you know, it's going to uh, pretty much last all day. Now, according to Guerlain, these have 16 hour high pigmentation and I have not worn it for 16 hours straight, but I have gone up to 10 hours and I can tell you that I can still look fresh after 10 hours with regular wear. Yeah. So let's do a few comparisons. This is number 94. This was a limited edition shade a few years ago. And this is going to be fairly similar to Imperial Plum, but you can see it's going to be cooler in tone. This is in the velvet line, the 910 shade. Here we have 530, also in the velvet line. You can see that that's kind of in between the two of these, but this is going to be, you know, this is the same number as this 530. So you can see the difference between the velvet and the metallic velvet. It's gonna be slightly different. This actually ends up looking slightly rosier, whereas the metallic looks just a little bit warmer ever so slightly. This also looks, the regular velvet also looks just slightly deeper as well. You can see it's a little bit darker with one swipe. This is number 34 from the holiday collection last year. I'm gonna put this one here on the side. And it's a satin formula, but you can see it has a little bit of some gold reflect in there, giving it a little bit of a metallic vibe. And this one here is 35, also from the holidays last year. And then this is a Burberry Kisses in 41 pomegranate pink. And uh, we're just going to put this one down here. And my last comparisons, these are the Burberry Kisses, but they came out with some uh, metallic lipsticks last year for the holidays. This one here is 97 Pearl Oxblood. And you can see that with Imperial Plum up here. Let's see if we can squeeze that in as well. So you can kind of see the difference. This is gonna be a satin formula instead, but you can see the color is fairly similar. And there's also a, a bright red one, which uh, from Burberry that I did not um, think was close to this. This is 14 Pearl Delicate Rose. This is gonna be lighter than any of these offerings, but I just thought it would be worth showing. So overall, I think that these lipsticks are unique because of this metallic finish with the weightless wear. They are not drying on my lips. They're not moisturizing, but they aren't drying. So they'll kind of just leave your lips in whatever condition they are in. So, you know, if you are somebody with dry lips, you might want to use like some lip balm or something underneath. But overall, I think they are a great formula. If you're familiar with the Guerlain Velvet formula, these are just as comfortable as those. But again, they have this really awesome, unique velvet or metallic finish. And again, the cases are stunning. So I would definitely pick up these cases if you're interested in these. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you very soon.